Hello folks, welcome back to the allotment. My name's Jamie, and of course this is my allotment. Welcome in. So, I've just came down, sorted the chickens out. It's a new week. The sun is surprisingly bright up in the sky with uh, semi-clear skies as well. So I'm gonna do what Dave says and get the kettle on, because that's the first thing you should do when you come down. Obviously after sorting the hens. I'm gonna get the kettle on, get my thinking cap on, and see which one of the many jobs we're going to get started on today. Um, hello Cheese. He's very noisy isn't he? <laughs> um, so yeah I'm going to possibly have a look at sorting the shed slash greenhouse out, do something with that and sort along the main front fence. Um, if I don't get them today that'll be a, a job for the future but I think I might get it started. So like I said I'll get the kettle on and then I'll get back to you. So one of my jobs today was to mess on and try to get this colour gas heater working and as you can see it's on minimum at the moment but it's pumping out some amount of heat already. Um, I actually just used the stove, my, my camping stove, gas bottle briefly just to test it, make sure it works fine. Oh does, it sparks, no bother. Um, that's it on minimum and then you go medium which I'm guessing will put two of them on. Potentially, I don't know if you guys can see that. Should that be happening? Does anybody know? Should it be pumping a flame like that? Um, and then what is Max? And you've got Max. Well, again, it just seems to be the two side ones, but should it be pumping gas out? Like, like should it be pumping the fire out like that? Oh, I don't know. Turn it back down to medium and just have it on the one, I think. Did run it on min. But yeah. That's one of the jobs, thankfully. Um let me just quickly take you outside and I'll show you another bit as well of where you can see I've put this post in here. Um and I'm gonna run a, a post going right across and then put an actual roof on top of them instead of the tarp in that was there. Because the tarp was just flapping about and blowing all over the place. Um I've also been clarting on in here, so I took out, I've got a bit of railing to go along here as well. Took out the wood chips and the, the chicken coop and stuff that was in here. And the, the old tarp I've actually used as a roof and backing plate. For this I'm going to make this my new chill out shed sort of area, so like maybe a chair here. Cooker here, you know, like for brews and stuff. It uh, should be dry, should be watertight. There was a few bits where the tarp got a few leaks or whatnot, but I have got plastic, so I'll see. It's one of the things with allotments. You either use what you've got, and what you've got is what you use, or you spend a fortune on buying nice new fancy stuff. And at the moment, I'm under the, the bracket of use what you have, and what you have is what you use. <laughs> I'll get back to you later on. So we've been on building a pergola down at the uh, the allotment shop hut and also digging out, ready for some wood chippings. So it's not all just work on the allotment, doing bits and bobs around as well. Although there's a couple of bits where it's not exactly watertight, the ground itself does seem to be bone dry. So I think my next task is to bring, I've got a unit to go here, which would be like a growing unit, so the sun will hit it. Um, I've got like a heater to come in. I might put the heater here actually, because there is like this, as you can see there's like a a gap there which will obviously help with ventilation and carbon monoxide so i have the heater maybe here a bit of growing thingy there a couple of chairs um yeah i think that's i think that's the plan let's get cracking so as i've previously mentioned ignore these weeds here they are coming out but this chili plant didn't really do a massive amount for me this year so i am going to try as you can see, like, like this is the uh, 
the extent of the chilies. Um, so yeah, not a massive deal on them. <laughs> I think I've had four of it maybe, and they've all been very similar to that. So just before the frost kills the actual plant itself, I'm going to try, I've never done this before, I did watch a, a little YouTube video on it, um, and apparently you come up to here, up to the first knuckle, so like the knuckle where it splits in two, and then you come up to the like one knuckle up, and then here, I would snip it, so first knuckle split, second knuckle split, third knuckle chop like that and then it leaves you with this so again first knuckle split second knuckle split third knuckle split there if i can get in past these leaves cut it there like that and that's that one completed so then let me just clear some of these leaves out of the way so i can actually see um First knuckle split, second knuckle split. There. Do you know what? I'm actually gonna cut this one a little, one knuckle up higher, just as a a little tester to see. So again, the I'll pull these ones, little ones off. They're coming off really easy, to be honest. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll cut this one here. Like that, and there we're left. Put that on the compost pile. But there we're left with a bear. Let's cut this away. I am going to be getting in here and just fully gutting it because there's still remnants of my uh, melon plant. Get away, you! So there we go. I'm going to take this out, get it in some clover professional pot bedding, um, take it home and put it on my windowsill in the house so that it will be at a good temperature and then hopefully come next spring when the weather's warmer it can get put back out and it will be an already established pepper plant that's my, my hopes anyways is that if I can lift this out without doing too much damage take some of the, out of the root system and whatnot with me Hmm. Oh, that's well established. So there we go. That will now go into a pot with a bit of feed, a little bit of this bedding, and I'll show you that in a second. And there we go. It's on slant because obviously my thing's not really a platform, so it's not so great. But there we go. That's it. Potted on, a little bit of feed, a bit of the professional compost. Um, I guess I'll take that home, pop it on my windowsill, and hopefully. It'll do well next year as an established adult plan. Alright, folks, that's me done for today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.